Hey guys, it's Prince Cottage, and um, I'm bringing you another commentary video. Units, um, this is a two versus two versus two, and I went for a more non -ch cheapskate conventional army, and apparently I didn't get the memo that it wasn't CWB, and you'll see exactly why. Look at my um, uh, my opponents were Doc and King Marcus, I believe. Uh, my ally Kendi here. I looked over as his army and I thought it'd be the same as mine. But he has two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and he puts them all into which. But look at this. Uh, I didn't I was not aware of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve urban cohorts. Uh Make that 14 urban cohorts and uh, six Praetorian cavalry, and I thought there was something wrong with his army because I couldn't believe how many cohorts he had. And I brought legionary first cohorts, which is a stupid idea. Um, and because I did not know the rules, apparently it's uh, the rules set for a 31 uh, denarii battle, 30, 31k rules. I've never heard of those, so that put me at a gigantic disadvantage but oh uh, my main goal here was uh yeah this setup took a long time because uh I accidentally pressed enter and that actually triggers this um, end deployment button so I was stuck all the way over here but um yeah I was not aware of these rules that they were playing by so I was infuriated infuriated slightly oh he does have a legion first cover okay but um so I was infuriated slightly at these guys all going to wedge, but um, uh, my main goal was just to hold, uh, I believe I was facing King Marcus, yeah, hold him off long enough until, um, long enough for him to finish off Doc, but Doc brought the, like, the same army, so let's speed this up. He moves over and tells me to deploy there, but I can't. So let's wait. Yeah, you can see me all the way over there. Oh, there we go. Uh, unless you've ever played under these rules, you have no idea what the hell these armies are. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, it looks like they're all deployed the same. It's really odd. Oh, well. No, no. It's, it's, no. So five Praetorian Cav here for Doc, one legionary first covert, and thirteen urbans. What about here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen urbans, uh, five Praetorian Cav, and two Archer Auxilia. Oh, okay, this guy's deployed more conventionally. And here I'm just moving my guys, trying to get them in line. And they were courteous enough to let me line up. Kind of tighten, tighten up here. And my cap get massacred. Um, I don't know why these guys went into wedge, because wedge actually helps them, like for charge. Because it, it appears like this first guy here always dies, <laughs> but then everyone else behind him like slams right in. That makes like the hole bigger. But besides that, wedge is good for nothing. So let's keep on fast forwarding until we get some action. And yeah, I didn't notice that until later that the sun actually went like you know, away from the battlefield, which is pretty cool. Um, he was shifting here, and he said line up with me, but I was like, no, wait. But of course he didn't listen. But um. I started shooting at his urbans with my archers. I don't know if that was the best idea, but I tried. And then he started moving up. And 
Yeah, my Praetorians here, I didn't notice this one unit was still drifting. Yeah, so they start shooting. So, um... Yeah, I think I uh, double-clicked it by accident, because I just meant for them to go like in that general direction. So they end up getting caught and start routing. Which is really annoying, but caused some chaos here, and then... Um... Yeah, my ally, uh, Kendi, started engaging Doc here. That was really stupid, just throwing his cap like that. And, um, I start to engage. And I tried to get rid of all his, like, make sure he didn't throw off any Pila, but that's really hard to do when there's, like, 30 Urbans. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. This man will not live. Sadly. These Praetorians get gang-raped. I try to save them with my general, but it's too late. Um... Yeah, this goes really badly here, this whole section. All the, all my Praetorians get surrounded, they get killed. It's not pretty. It's Roman versus Roman. Completely. Um, but... If I had known the rules, I would have probably brought a crap load of ur urbans. But unfortunately, I did not know the rules. So I was stuck with this type of army. And yeah. Our allies have lost their leader. Oh no. Wait, this is that mine? Events may make them lose heart. Apparently mine is dead, right? Is my general dead? No, I have no clue, but yeah, from here on it was uh, I tried to get my archers to fight and my cap to like stand. I was hoping someone would fight to the death, because that would be like the best situation, but Unfortunately, no one did, because I want to protect my phone, uh, my back here, because I could have won on, uh, maybe this section, and then, um, my ally, Kendi, um, um, I told him, run your Praetorians out of there, but instead of running them out of there, he decides to walk and, like, charge right into these urbans, which is pretty dumb, and he tried to save me in this cow charge, but he didn't see the urbans there, um, and yeah, uh, here, he actually progressed, uh, quite steadily. Yeah, he had a, he had a really good chance. Let's look at all this. But then, I failed my part, and I felt bad about that. I couldn't keep them at bay, sadly. And, uh... Yeah, you can hear that. Yeah, these guys, these are brave men. Uh, here. Uh -huh. Um, Doc had the cab advantage. So I don't know why. I, I think Kenny admits defeat at some point. It's kind of dumb. But, uh, as I told you, the wedge is only good for charging in there. See how they all get stuck. But, um, everyone starts to out this point and yeah my army is in shambles uh, yeah, these guys might be fun your allies yep. are no friends of Rome they are running from the field like cowards and turncoats uh me mine right <laughs> um, so uh, is dead because of his foolishness. His men will lose heart. What? Oh, that must have been his general. Yeah, something was wrong with this. And um, right here, uh, he just—he has no chance. A defeat. Yeah. So many yeah, he he admitted defeat. No purpose. But from this, victory will spring afresh. But look at all these dead Batoyans. But um. Yeah, you could see the gigantic numerical difference. And you could see the kills. Um... Yeah, we did terribly. But, uh... If I had known the rules, then I probably would have done better, but... I'm not saying that was the only reason we lost. Um... I wasn't paying attention on the Beckerman's problems. So, um... 
that is beautiful. Yeah, that was right in the air, that's cool. But um anyways <laughs> Um good game to Kendi, my ally. He did a great job. Uh King Marcus for starting this game and uh explaining the rules to me. Thank you. And Doc for um allowing me to have some time to set up. So all these guys are great. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh please subscribe, uh comment, give, give me some feed up and feed it. Uh feedback and uh, thank you.